It has only been one minute and already we are at 33 degrees Celsius. And you decide, you <laughs> some mistakes are so small yet so insidious that if you don't know about it, you will never guess that you are making a mistake. And they can, can give you real problems down the line. In this case, the problems could be dire. It could burn your boat down. And I'm not even joking. This is not for clickbait or whatever. What I'm talking about is connecting electric devices using stainless steel. We're not just going to talk about it. We are going to experiment and see what happens if you do that. So let's go. We are sailing around the world the hard way on our abandoned 1980 sketch refitted on a very tight budget now has all the luxuries you could ever want. This channel is more about technical advice and sharing knowledge than the journey itself. Sometimes with science, sometimes our mistakes, but always having fun. Stainless steel is used a lot to connect electric devices to bus bars. And if you use it correctly, everything will be fine and it works just fine. But there's an issue. Stainless steel, maybe because of the properties that it's not magnetic and it doesn't uh, stain easily <laughs> or corrode easily, it is also a very bad conductor. What that means is that if you connect a electrical device on this side and then the bus bar or the battery on this side, this middle part will become a resistor, just like this. And what a resistor does is it resists the flow of electricity. And while it does so, it heats up. So when you're connecting things to your bus bar, there's a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it. And if you mess it up, you will create a resistor right next to your bus bar that will just keep getting hotter. We are gonna test this. I have a battery, I have an inverter that I can use as a power draw and I need a bus bar. So let me make a bus bar. I finished building the bus bar. This is not perfect by any means necessary, but it's pretty okay for what we are going to test. Now that we know that stainless steel is a very bad conductor, what will happen if we mess up? Let's put a scenario. You want to add something to your existing system and you have a bus bar, all of your bus bar connections are done with stainless steel because they don't corrode and you look at it and you decide you, <laughs> you connect it here on top. You get some washers. Sorry, I'll do it later. This is just for demonstration. And you make this connection and tighten everything up. Now, if you notice, on the first cable, the energy is going directly from the bus bar into the cable connector and out to the appliance. In the second connection, it goes to the stainless steel boat through the nuts and into the connector. You won't believe the difference this makes. We have a LiFePo4 battery. By the way, I'm giving this battery away. So if you want a chance to win it, check out the card at the end of the video and watch that video. So this bus bar connects to a short cable that then connects to the large cable that is connected to this inverter. And the inverter is feeding a space heater that can pull 1200 watts and it pulls 90 amps from the battery. Now, 90 amps, it's not nothing, but it's nothing stupid high. So for instance, an alternator will put maybe 150 amps into your battery for hours and hours on end while you're motoring. So, you know, 90 amps, it's nothing special. I have also a phone with a thermal camera so we can see what's happening on the bus bar and we are going to test it both ways. First, with a normal connection connected from the, the connector right to the bus bar and then I will pick this one up and I will put it on top. So this way we have the same cable, the only thing we're eliminated is this small cable that if anything should make things worse. And we'll do the test for 10 minutes each and find out how it heats up. 
or how it doesn't. It has been 10 minutes. I will now disconnect the heater. We'll pick up a thermal camera. As, as you can see, everything is basically normal. Actually, the cable is hotter, but it's not even hot to the touch. Uh, this camera makes it look like it's much hotter than it is, but it's only at 40 degrees Celsius. My hands are hotter <laughs> than this cable. So yeah, this is connection made directly to the bus bar. Now that we know that this bus bar is working fine and that it didn't overheat or anything during those 10 minutes, let's make a bad connection. One of those that we should not do. So I see this on the bus bar. I want to connect, let's say, a new alternator because I got an extra alternator for the engine or something. And I look at the bus bar and I decide, okay, I'll just put a washer. And I connect it like this. This is not the right size hardware, but for a demonstration, it's perfectly fine. I will tighten it up real good, and it's really solid. I can lift the whole battery, and it won't shift. So let's test it now and see what happens. And let's see another 10 minutes and see what happens. It has only been one minute and already we are at 33 degrees Celsius. At five minutes, we are almost at 40 degrees Celsius. It's been 10 minutes, so I'm disconnecting the heater. We are at 42.2 degrees Celsius. As you can see, these connections are not the same thing. This is hot, I can feel it. And what's happening now is that it's uh, spreading the heat and saturating the thick cable and the bus bar, but it will keep getting hotter. The longer you use it, the hotter it will get until eventually it starts melting down the insulation and it creates all sorts of problems. It can even create a fire. So we learned that if you need to connect something on the same terminal, this is the wrong way to do it. The right way to do it you take off the nuts and you connect them one on top of each other. Because this way, the electrical path goes straight from the bus bar into the connectors themselves. So, now you know, never connect anything through stainless steel because its conductivity sucks and it will give you problems down the line. Anyway, if you're still watching, thank you so much. You're a freaking hero. And if you want to win that battery, check out this video over here. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.